Active learning ambush. Active learning ambush. Hello and welcome to Active Learning Ambush. My name is Tanisha Baca. I teach communication here on campus. And what we're going to be doing today is that we're going to see if we can find someone that we can ambush to see if we can get some active learning strategies from them to help our students in the classroom with their learning experience. So let's see who I can find. Uh, let's, oh, I see someone. Hold on just a second. And oh, look who I found. I found Beth. Hi, Beth. Hi, How Tanisha. are you? How are you doing today? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing good. So good. we're actually outside the English uh, building here. Uh, so I am ambushing uh, Beth. Oh. Beth is going to be, uh, <laughs> if Beth would be so willing to share active learning strategies for the active learning ambush. Sure. Uh, ambush. ambush. Uh, so Beth, if you could uh, just share real quick, what are, you know, maybe one or two active learning strategies you actually use in the classroom? Okay, so I I used one recently when I was starting a new unit okay. and what I was dreading is just giving PowerPoint notes. Um, I just thought, oh, I can't do this today. I can't look at their faces staring at me Yeah. with just blank stares. So um, luckily it was a visual rhetoric unit. So I started with an image mm -hmm. and I gave students uh, a meme to look at and in teams I asked them to tell me everything they could about the image just you know what what do you see um, what do you have to know to get it what does it mean mm -hmm. who do you think the audience is all the questions you would ask for analyzing visual rhetoric and so um, that's what we started with so that was the first part of class and then as they as we discussed as a class as a whole, then I said, okay, now, as we're doing this discussion, I want you to jot down some notes because now we're gonna be talking about the things that you need to know okay. uh, to be able to complete this project and, and the things you need to know to be able to analyze images effectively. So I felt like um, they were way more into it because they were looking at a picture okay. uh, instead of you know, a lovely PowerPoint. I might have just constructed and where I blabbed on and on to them. Okay. So did you notice that the students were a little bit more engaged? Like they were, instead of just listening, they were talking to each other, looking at the images, engaging. It was a little bit different. Uh, yeah, I think, you know, there there is enjoyment in trying to figure out what something means. Mm -hmm. And so I could see them really trying to wanting to you know be the one who had the right answer or right. figure out something that nobody else could figure out kind of thing so I, I think they were engaged that way but yeah definitely since they were talking to each other mm -hmm. they were also more engaged okay that's good and and really so, interesting and engaging especially with the images I think people or students definitely really respond to pictures right yeah uh, they can really definitely uh, kind of give us a sense of meaning or messages or different things like that. And I think that's great that you use that in the classroom. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much sure. for being my ambushy for the Active Learning Ambush. All right, thank you for joining me for Active Learning Ambush. Uh, I learned something. I hope you learned something. Uh, keep an eye out for me because I'm gonna be looking for you till we meet again. Bye.